to my channel and happy Monday. For those who don't know me, my name is Kristen Martin. I'm an international Amazon bestselling author, a YouTuber, a podcaster, a writing coach, a business success coach. So cool that I can say that now. When you put all of that together, essentially, I am what you would call a creative entrepreneur. If you are new here, I would love to have you as part of the hashtag KM community. So make sure you click on that subscribe button and also that little bell that will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload new videos. I am so excited to bring today's video to you guys because it's one that has been highly requested for a while, and that is how to create a series Bible for your book series. And I'm going to show you, actually physically show you, my series Bible for Shadow Crown, which is my young adult dark fantasy series. I am currently, well, I've written book three. I'm currently revising book three in that series, and that will be published later this year. But I still have three more books to write. And so I wanted to share with you what my series Bible entails. So that way, if you're writing a series of your own, you can build something similar to this and stay organized. Because writing a series, especially one of six books, is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So if you are excited, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. That helps me out so much. And again, don't forget to subscribe. A couple of things before we dive into the nitty gritty of this video, I do want to let you know that today is the last day for enrollment in my newest self-study course for aspiring creative entrepreneurs called Elevate. If you're ready to live a life with less hustle and more flow by generating passive income through a passion-fueled online business, then this program is definitely for you. This program is valued at $5,750, but you can enroll today for less than $1,000. Payment plans are available, not to mention there are $2,500 worth of bonuses included in this program when you sign up today. I will leave the link in the description box below. Again, doors for enrollment close tonight at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time, so make sure you take advantage. And one more thing real quick, which is something I think many of you will be excited about, I'm actually giving you guys a bonus video this week on Thursday, and it's going to be a bonus vlog. I had some extra time, I was vlogging my day, and I thought, you know what, let's, let's do two videos a week this week. So again, if you are excited for this video, if you're excited for the bonus video that's coming out on Thursday, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Let's go ahead and get into this series Bible video. Okay, so first things first, what is a series Bible and why do you need one? For me, a series Bible is a place where I have everything I could possibly need to know about a book series that I'm writing in one place. It's organized, there are tabs, little sticky notes, you know, highlighters, color coordinated, all that stuff. That's what a series Bible is for me. It's where everything goes for my book series. I can find everything in one place. And I do have a physical version as well as a digital version because I know I will get that question. And why do you need one? Honestly, just to stay organized and to remember everything that you have written in your book so far. I find it's not enough to just have an outline. I feel like I need to break things out even more in order to stay organized and really remember what's actually happened in each one of these books. Especially if you're like me and you are a plotzer, which I know a lot of people call it planter. I think the word planter sounds weird because it sounds like you're gardening. I don't know why, but for me, I am a plotzer. And so while I do have an outline that I try to follow, sometimes I stray from my outline. So that's why I like to have everything in my series Bible so I can refer back to it when I'm writing future books or outlining future books in that series to make sure I have everything all straightened out, all figured out, and that I don't miss anything. Okay, so there are eight sections to my series Bible. Let's go ahead and go through these. And I will kind of zoom in and show you what it actually looks like, but just note I did have to put sticky notes and cover up certain parts since this is a current series that I'm writing. And even if the whole series was published, I would still cover these certain things up because they're major plot points and plot twists in the story. It's like the whole point of the story. So if you see sticky notes and if things are covered up or blurred out, that's the reason why, because I don't want to ruin anything for those of you who are currently reading the Shadow Crown series. So the first section is character profiles. And I did make a video on how I create my character profiles a while back. I feel like it was a year or two ago. I will link it up in the cards for you in case you want to check that out. There is a free download on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com where you can actually download the physical character profile worksheet that I use and use it for your own characters. And if you go to that video, it will show you how to access that free download. So the first thing I have 
in my character profile sheet are my ultimate character motivations. Now, some things are gonna be typed, some things are gonna be handwritten. It just kind of depends if I was using a notebook or near a computer when I was documenting a certain part of my series Bible. But my ultimate character motivations, the reason I have this as the first thing is because I have all of my characters listed and then I write down what their ultimate motivation is throughout the series. So if I'm ever starting to feel stuck with a point of view that I'm writing, then I can go back to this, refer back to it and remember, okay, this is their motivation. So if that's their motivation, then what would they do in this scene? How would they react to X, Y, Z? Or how, what would they do in a particular situation? So that is why my first sheet in my character profiles tab is ultimate character motivations. And I would do this for every single one of your characters, even your secondary characters that really don't play much of a role because they're still important. Next in my series Bible is an actual list of all of the Shadow Crown characters as well as a little avatar. I made these on, I believe it's called Blue Robot Avatar. Dot com, dot org. I can't remember exactly right now, but I will leave the link in the description box below. I love this. You can pick pictures on Pinterest. I find it's easier for me if it's more of an avatar and not a real person. I think it's because it's a fantasy world. So when I picture people, I picture them like this first and then I actually take this and visualize what they would look like in human form. That's just my process. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. You may find that something else works better for you. But what I like to do is put a little photo, you know, put together my little avatar for my character. So this is Arden O'Leary here. I'll put physical features, everything from that character profile sheet. I'll kind of sum it up right here. I even have her zodiac sign, any sayings, anything she says a lot. So I add a bunch of things that are just really important for me to know. And I'm not going to zoom in on this because I feel like, again, it will give some things away. So if you see my hand covering it, that is why. But especially for a fantasy novel, I can't turn the page here you will see that there are a lot of characters. Just keep flipping through. A lot of characters. We're still going. Okay, that's the last one. Okay, let's move on to section two in the series Bible, which is relationship trees. Now these were handwritten and they're completely covered up because again, this is something that would give everything away if you were to see it. So that's why it's that's why it's covered up. What a relationship tree really is, is how all of your characters are connected or if they're related in some way. So if you think of like a family tree, that's kind of what we're going for here. This may not be relevant for your particular book series, but for mine, this was highly, highly relevant because all of my characters are connected. So I needed to map that out. So you may or may not have this section in your series Bible. The third section is locations. You could also call this settings. For me, since I have an actual map, this is my map of the Shadow Crown world. It is called Eridon, the lands of Eridon. So of course I have my map front and center. So that way I can refer back to this whenever my characters are traveling to another region, another location. Again, if you're not writing a fantasy novel, this may not be entirely relevant, but I think certain settings that hold great significance or importance or something really big happens there, I think that's a great thing to have in your locations, settings, regions section of your series Bible. And on the back here, I have a little legend as to what types of things happened or things that I just need to remember about each of those regions. So it's kind of a cheat sheet for me to remember what's happened. And I'll also even write down which book it happened in. So that way I can remember and I don't have to go scrambling through my 30 page outline to find that one scene in that one location. The fourth section in my series Bible is creatures. So again, if you're not writing a fantasy novel, this may not be relevant, but if you are writing sci-fi, maybe there is some type of spaceship or technology, something going on here that you could put here instead. I can't exactly show you what's in the creatures section because again, that'll give something away. So the fifth section in my series Bible is the magic system. So this is where I would write things down about what types of abilities there are, what the magic system looks like, if something can overpower you know, someone else's abilities, what that would look like. So again, it depends on the book you're writing and this may not be relevant for you. Again, if you're writing sci-fi, maybe this is more of like technology systems or maybe it has to do with society and how things are, the rules and laws that govern the current society. The sixth section in my series Bible is symbols. 
you know, if there's a family crest or something that's on a flag or a shield or maybe a uniform like the crew uniform, the Caldara uniform, things like that, I would put those symbols here or what I kind of imagine them to look like. And I normally just find these images from Pinterest, to be honest. I'm just counting through this and there's actually nine sections. I missed, I missed a section. So <laughs> there's nine sections. We're on number seven right now. Number seven, I have briefing sheets. I've been watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so I think that's why I wrote like for a briefing. That's not really what they're called. It's more of a act one, two, three outline, but for some reason I'm calling them briefing sheets and it's in Sharpie, so you know, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. But my briefing sheets are very simply just for each book. I'll write the title of the book in act one, act two, act three, and I'll write down the really important things that I need to remember. It's just for me to look at as a brief overview. Instead of having to go through, again, an entire 30 page outline to find something, I can just kind of do like a spot check and find it right here. So you'll see I have to scoot back so you can't really read it. Shadow Crown, that's what it looks like for Renegade Crew. I have some more for Renegade Crew. Jaded Spring, another one for Jaded Spring. And then the rest of these are books, the titles of the books that I haven't announced yet. Really just anything that'll give me a brief overview goes in this briefing sheets or this act one, two, three outline section. I even have a page that tells me who is alive at the end of the series, who dies and what chapter they die in because I kill a lot of people and also who kills that person and why. So that's another sheet that I have that I can't show you because it'll spoil everything. The eighth section in my series Bible is full outlines. And so this is really, this is my outline here for Jaded Spring. You can see it's highlighted and very colorful. This is a better one to look at. This is my Renegade Crew outline. You can see all of my highlighting. This is what I use when I'm editing and revising takes a long time and also my shadow crown outline so as I continue on with the different outlines once I have the final final I mean like the final version of my outline exactly what happens in that book to a T that's the outline that I will put in my series Bible and then my ninth and final section in my series Bible is future story maps and subplot ideas so when I use the word maps here I mean more of like a brainstorming like idea map back to this like this is an entire page of all the different ideas I have for subplots and also in what in what book these subplots should play out in so that's just another section if you just have future ideas or subplot ideas I like to have a section in my series Bible for that as well that I can refer back to because if you don't write it down we all know this it just flies away. Okay, so that concludes my series Bible for Shadow Crown. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also that little bell if you like these kinds of videos because then you'll get email notifications sent to your inbox whenever I upload new ones which is weekly. I would love to know if you guys have your own series Bibles, what they look like, what those entail, and what genre you write, so leave a comment down below. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the Elevate program. Again, doors for enrollment close tonight. You can find the link in the description box below. And other than that, I will see you in this Thursday. Don't forget there's a bonus video in this Thursday's video. Bye.